we will talk about myopia and in particular we should focus on highly myopia if you have a low myopia this is not um, a big deal this is not a problem uh, but what should you do if you have minus four minus three and a half or higher minus five or minus ten this is a real problem and the first thing you should do uh, is to find out what type of myopia have you got uh, for example the myopia could be um, the lens myopia and optical myopia the lens myopia is very easy to be corrected and it's it's related to the low myopia yeah this is the this is actually the start of myopia it happens when you didn't have enough uh, sleep well when you were tired after uh, a long work on your uh, on your project or if you are uh, at school it means that uh, you are under pressure and uh, the first, the, the, the starting point of myopia is a low myopia, and it's a lens myopia, right? This is actually due to the spasm of the ciliary muscle. The ciliary muscle controls uh, how uh, how you can see at any distance. Actually, it contracts and relaxes, and you can see far and near uh, thanks to work of this muscle. So when you release the spasm of the ciliary muscle, the lens myopia is recovered. But if you don't do this on time, then the optical myopia starts developing. And that's a real problem because it means that your eyeball is growing, it is getting longer along the visual axis. For example, the normal eye is 24 millimeters. If you have optical myopia for minus, minus four, for example, right? Um, each each uh, dioptry is caused by half of a millimeter um, of optical myopia. So the, your uh, your length, the total length of your eyeball will be half of a millimeter longer for each dioptry. It means that if you have minus four your eyeball will be two millimeters longer along the visual axis. So how to find out what type of myopia have you got and how bad your optical myopia is? The first thing you should do is to do one of uh, two possible researches. Either you do optical biometry of your eyes and find out the, the lens of your uh, visual axis for each eye in millimeters it's a very simple research you can do it uh, it's uh, completely safe and uh, um, so you you, you, sh you should go to the hospital and ask for optical biometry if they have it or not in some cases uh, they don't have it uh, and you can do the uh, ultrasound research of your eyes it's also very simple uh, research, but it's a little bit more complicated and it's a little bit... Uh, uh, so it will take a little bit longer. But it's also safe and they will, they will tell you uh, the uh, length of your eyeball along the visual axis for your left eye and for your right eye. So then what you should do... what what will you do with this information? For example, you have minus 10 and you find out that your, uh, the length of your eyeball is, let's say, uh, 27 millimeters. So three millimeters longer than a norm. Yeah? It means that your optical myopia is uh, minus six. And so, but... Uh, According to the, your prescription to your glasses, you, you have minus 10. Your optical myopia is minus 6. So your lens myopia is minus 4. So the first thing you should do is to focus on how uh, you can get rid of the lens myopia. So you can, um, you can improve your vision naturally uh, for four dioptries very quickly, within several months, that's for sure. For optical myopia, it will take longer because it will mean that your eyeball shape needs time to be um, 
to be corrected, to become a, a normal boy, a normal bull, yeah? Now it's like an ellipse and it should become a bull. So, what you should do? The first thing you should do is to look for this prescription for your glasses and try minus six, yeah, as we described in the uh, in, in the example. So if you if your optical myopia covers six diopters, it means that you should try uh, your glasses to cover the optical myopia. Yeah, it will help you to get rid of the lens myopia slowly, but well, we will see. It could happen within several months, for months or two or for three and your vision will become from minus 10 to minus 6 so for diopters it's very uh, it's very essential yeah so uh, this is the this, this is the first uh, this is the second step you should do the first research the second go to optometrist and ask for weaker glasses and um, weaker glasses should c cover at least your optical myopia yeah so in this case, six diopters. The next step you should do. The next step, you should practice natural vision recovery uh, classes. That will help you to, um, to, create the, to create the conditions under which your um, eyeball will become normal. Uh, we, what tools do we use? The first tool is relaxation. Yeah, let's, uh, it, it matters a lot for um, highly myopic people because they, they squeeze their eyes, they, they contract their eye muscles all the time. So we focus on relaxation a lot. We do palming for not less than 10 minutes, then we do other exercises to transform the static relaxation into dynamic one. Uh, we use different te techniques like focus and unfocus. We wake up the peripherals and uh, you are recommended to spend as less time as possible wearing glasses. So you will be recommended to wear weaker glasses only on, un uh, only on some special occasion. For example, when you're driving a car, yeah, because you, you cannot drive a car uh, otherwise. Even... Uh, for example, in Germany, it's forbidden to drive a car using your weaker glasses. So you will have to, to use your strong glasses for driving a car. But for weaker glasses, uh, you can wear it on some special occasion when you cannot go without it. Yeah, for I don't know, for example, uh, when you're walking um, in the evening and you are not confident in uh, what, what you see, where you, where you go, and so, uh, or when you are traveling, maybe that, that's the, the special occasion because this is a new place. But you are recommended to spend as much time as possible without glasses. So your peripheral vision is getting active. Yeah, you, you, when you are wearing glasses, your peripheral vision is suffering. Of course, you will have to forget about the contact lenses. Yeah? We are not discussing it, but that's by default. Because uh, we should train your ciliary muscle. And the main target for us will, train, will be to train your ciliary muscle so it could allow to see better uh, under these circumstances. Yeah? So we should train it and improve the amplitude of work of your ciliary muscle for each eye that's why we focus on relaxation that's why we focus on how much time you spend without glasses the third thing you should work on pc without glasses that's that's ideally uh, but maybe you will have to wear weaker glasses first and then you will slowly or reduce the diopters in your weaker glasses or you can try to work on PC without glasses, using bigger screens, bigger resolutions, and the stuff like this. Uh, the next uh, step, we, we are using reading. Yeah, we are using such a tool as meditating reading. Reading is a very powerful tool that will help you to see better if you practice it on a regular basis. And we use some special techniques uh, that will help you to train your ciliary muscle so it could work more, it could work better and better. And slowly, under this, 
new conditions, your eyeball will become more and more normal. That's for sure. But it will take uh, some time. Uh, for, high, uh, for high myops with minus 10, for example, uh, the forecast is not less than one year. But you will uh, improve for, far for your lens myopia very fast, within several months. It could be for three or four dioptries. So if you're highly myopic, the first, the first, you should, the first thing you should um, count on is to get rid of lens myopia very quickly, and it's several dioptries. And it will, you will see the results for sure. After this, the results will, will, will slow down, you know, but uh, it, on average it's from uh, 0 0.25 to 1 dioptry per month. Not less than a year for 10 dioptries, for example, yeah, if we consider this example. If you have minus 20, so it's several years for sure, and also you will need uh, the private sessions so I could control you and uh, just give you the hints. So we, we, anyway, we are in touch with you and we know where we go and we know what we want. We want to train your ciliary muscle to work in a natural way and to make your eyeball become normal again. It's possible uh, and it's, it's much better than um, using uh, the tools that you are offered by the medicine like wearing glasses or contact lenses or surgery which is useless because your eye will be will be will 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 be myopic after the surgery anyway and you will possibly need the uh, operation again which i don't expect that you are happy with so if you are highly myopic uh, don't get upset it's not uh, of course, it's it's a real problem, but uh, we uh, we will so we will work it out together. Just start with simple and clear steps, as we described. So, if you like this video, please uh, uh, press on likes, uh, leave your comments, what you think, your questions. If you would like to um, know more about how to recover your vision naturally, uh, you can subscribe to our channels where we will be very happy if you do this and also click on the bell not to miss the next video bye cheers